Sister D's in the house. Watch your mouth. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well. As you can see by the title, I'm making homemade chicken tenders. And it was a requested video by my sis, Red December 2. And basically, like I, like I answered in your comment, Red, um, I do it basically just like how I fry chicken. I use all the same seasons, but I just use a chicken breast. So we could go on. I already washed this chicken breast off. And it's a pretty big piece of chicken. So I'm going to go on and get to cutting this up. And we're going to make chicken tenders. You can cut it up any way you want to. I, I, this is the way I choose to cut it up. Hope everybody is enjoying their day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Shut up. <laughs> That's my son in the ba in the background. If you heard that. <laughs> All right. So basically, that's it. I think I'm going to cut them. Well, some of them, not all of them. No, I'm not. Well, yeah, this one's kind of thick. I'm going to cut it again. I'm going to throw this chicken in this bowl and season it up. Don't rush, baby. Love ain't going nowhere. Slow it down. Slow it down. So what I'm using for my seasoning is some pepper, very simple, it's not, it's very simple, how do you know guys, you guys know I don't I don't make nothing difficult. Everything that I make is pretty simple and easy. Just a little bit of lemon and pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Some paprika. A little bit of this uh, sazon seasoning packet. Oops. A little bit more than I want it. A little bit of hot sauce. And that's optional. You don't have to put any liquid in yours if you don't want to. But I like the flavor of it, so I put a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of sriracha. When I fry chicken, I put a little bit of mustard in, but this time I don't think I'm going to put any mustard. And I'm just going to season, I'm just going to, uh, you know, mix that around so all the seasonings is coated all over the chicken. And then we're going to fry these bad boys up. We're going to shake them in flour. And I'll show you that process too. Really simple and easy. Simple and easy. All right, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna be set. I'm gonna be over by the stove so I can show you how I'm gonna um, see um, flour them up and put them in the pan. I'll be right back. All right, this grease is nice and hot, and we're gonna get this chicken um, seasoned up and get it to frying. Now, usually I would use a bag. To, to just like uh, shake it up in like a freezer bag or something, but I ran out, so I'm doing it this way. 
which I really don't like doing it this way, but it is what it is. It's easier to just uh, put it in a bag, even if you got a paper bag. I do got a paper bag, but whatever. Um, paper bag, plastic bag, freezer bag, whatever kind of bag you got. This is just making a mess. Can y'all see that? Not really, huh? That's all this is doing is make I hate this way, but it works. You want to flour it really good because you want to crisp. You want that to be. You want your chicken to uh be crisp. Well, I want my chicken to be crispy. Maybe you want. I like to fry my chicken hard. Some people like to fry their chicken soft, but I like the chicken hard. You're just gonna go on and. That chicken on in there. Very simple. Easy peasy. And I always assume everybody knows how to cook everything and some people don't. So I'll be more than happy to show you how to cook, make something. If you want me to make something, let me know. I'll make it for you. I'll show you a really easy way to make it too. I'm going to get the rest of this chicken in here. And that was only one chicken breast. You see how, many, how much it made? I can get three meals out of that, you know? It was just be me by myself, but I'm making it for the kids. Alright, I will come back when it is finished frying and showing you guys the final result, okay? I'll be back, guys. Alright, peeps. And this is it. They came out golden brown. As they should. Very easy, very simple, Red. Nothing to it but to do it. You want? You need me to make anything else for you? Just let me know in the comments below, and that goes for each and every last single one of you guys. But I know a lot of you guys know how to, the people that are watching that, watch me uh, be throwing down in the kitchen. So, this was for Red. She asked me to show her how I do it. Get you some chicken breast, cut them up, and bam, you got you some homemade chicken tenders. You don't got to buy the stuff, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to buy the stuff that's already in the bag, already cooking, you just put them in the microwave. This is easier. You put your own seasoning on it, and you get it in the way you want to. Let me taste a little piece. Y'all want some? Y'all can go on and grab y'all one. Go on. Some hot sauce over there. I got a little piece. I got a little nugget. Mmm. Very, very, very good. And that's it. That's it. And that's all. Thank you guys for taking time out to watch me. Like I said, if you want to see me cook something else or anything you want to see me do, let me know. I will try my best to do it. Um, if you're new here, I hope you thank you for stopping by. And I hope you like my content enough to uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to all, all my peeps. You guys know I appreciate you and I love you guys. Enjoy your day. Be kind. Stay safe out there, people. Please, stay safe. Peace. Love you guys.